If you're looking to order the perfect gift for the hurling enthusiast in your life, why not order a cool stick with our game? Get your orders into sticks at ourgame.ie. It's 30 euro per hurley decorated plus delivery costs. There's a click and collect option available at a Dublin site and you can get whatever you like put onto the hurleys. So order at sticks at ourgame.ie. So a fantastic performance from Waterford winning 227 to 223 against Kilkenny at Crow Park in an All-Ireland semi-final uh, here. And let's go through the player ratings. I think Stephen O'Keefe uh, in goals probably mixed the good with the bad in a way. I mean, he, he, he made a save from Richie Hogan, which ended up in Martin Keown's goal, but he probably should have came out off his line a bit quicker. And he made a good save from Niall Brazzle in the second half to smother uh, a possible opportunity, like a big opportunity at a big moment. So I think overall you'd have to give him plenty of credit. And he's obviously a really good goalkeeper in a general sense. So that'll, that'll probably do in an... I'd say overall a lot of confidence for him now going into the final. Ian Kenny, Connor Prunty and Shane McNulty have gone 7-7-8 seven, seven, and eight there. I think uh, Kenny had some good moments, some nervy ones as well, but he grew into the game. He'd be pleased. Uh, Connor Prunty probably disappointed with uh, how he dealt with some of the ball that went into Richie Hogan in the first half and probably feels he should be dominating in the air against uh, Hogan and, and, and spilled one or two. And, yeah, that, he'd probably look to kick on from that and he had a couple of uh, ropey moments against Aaron Shanahan in the quarter-final down in Cork but uh, in an overall sense he grew into it as did Shane McNulty he's become a very much a trusted lieutenant at the back uh, he battled well he had a nice point and, and like that's the, the one good thing about an awful lot of these Waterford players didn't dwell on some of the setbacks because the team was under massive pressure in the first half put themselves under pressure with some ridiculous kamikaze errors and just making silly mistakes time and time again gifting the ball back hitting bad wides whatever it might be the half back line Callum and Calum Lyons I, I sometimes still pronounce his name wrongly it is Calum Lyons but uh, he had a couple of shaky moments on TJ Reid I'm sure who doesn't in the first half but the amount of ball he wins come at the hour come at the man lovely score late on was a bit of a punctuation point I think for Watford in that performance and uh, he's a bit like uh, it's hard to know what he's like. He's a bit like a cross between James McCarthy, the Dublin footballer, and um, I don't know, maybe who else you'd say, maybe uh, Paul Kelly, then the former tip hurler when he when he starts striking the ball. But uh, he's a glorious player. We've been talking about him for a long time in our game. He had a brilliant season, even when Watford were poor in 2019. So onwards and upwards for him into his first All-Ireland final. Tyg de Borca largely kept quiet in the first half, and I think Kilkenny did a very good job of that, but... As the game grew on, so did, so or grew, so did he, and he got himself a little score later on. Actually, I'm mix, mixing up the punctuation point late on that I said that Callum Lyons got. That was actually the one that the Burka got, so that was a great score from him. Lyons actually got two in the first half. Um, then the next one, Kevin Moore, Kevin Moore, another seven out of ten. Lyons eight, Tiger Burka seven, Kevin Moore in seven. The Warrior just keeps on going, and he was kind of, I think he was taken off later on just to give uh, maybe a bit of a rest or an injection of energy. Uh, Irla Daly. Um, whose mother is from my hometown of Bursley, by the way. Just uh, squeeze that in there somewhere. Um, he, he, he came on for Morn. So in midfield then, Jamie Barron, I give him a 9 out of 10. He is just a little genius. He's a joy to watch. At times, some of the stuff he, he tries doesn't come off. And in the first half, he got blocked down one moment, went on an endless solo, ended up hand-passing the ball and throwing it free blown against him second half he was running down the right sideline here towards the Hogan stand and he tried to throw the ball behind himself and do a backflip hand pass and that didn't come off either but he just keeps going and he's just a magician and he's great to watch and the way he's like there's very few players that you would say slalom through a defense but it, you look at him he's like he's slaloms through his change of direction is brilliant could have had a goal in the second half got himself a point but I just thought he was absolutely everywhere the amount of times he gets on the ball it was like 2017 performances all over again and I'm giving him a 9 out of 10 maybe that's me getting caught up a bit in the emotion of the game or whatever but I just thought he was so crucial to everything that was good about Watford and he's just a top hurler and he got on an awful lot of ball against Clare got man in a match I didn't think he he didn't think he had his best performance in the game before that but um yeah like definitely a brilliant performance I think Jake Dillon didn't quite get to the didn't quite get to the level of the game he was spilling a bit of ball and he was taking off in the first half so I'll give him a five Jake uh, Jack Fagan couple of desperate wides early on <clears throat> but my god as the game grew on just putting his hand up and pulling pulling apples out of the sky brilliant performance from the man from Mead he uh, he set up that goal for for uh, Dara Lines and he just like just so good got himself a point as well um, 
Kieran, Kieran Bennett to give him a 5 out of 10. It just wasn't his day. Didn't think he got into it. And um, he probably need to kick on a, bit, a little bit more. But he has plenty of hurling in him. Stephen Bennett, 9 out of 10. Wonderful performance. He's all the skill in the world. The way he drives on with the solos. He looks so fit and so lean and athletic this year. Because of all the, of the three Bennett brothers, you would have said that he's probably the one who could do with leaning up but he seems to have done it some of his scores were brilliant he scored 1-3 from play and uh, just he's very quickly turning himself into one of the top forwards in the country so that was a brilliant performance Desi Hutchinson he was well marshalled by Conor Laney but at the same time I don't think there would have been a victory without the influence of Hutchinson takes mind in won a few frees got himself a po- uh, couple of points uh, so I think I think that's that's a good performance from Desi Hutchinson overall. And uh, Austin Gleeson, much like Fagan, there was it was two sides of the coin really. First half, you you'd nearly be th- thinking take him off, and this is why you don't take off the Mavericks because they can turn it around and win you a game. He scores four points. He tackled like a dog out there, and uh, even though Lawler won a couple of balls, he just kept going and kept going. Like some of those fr- oh, three first half wides. They just almost looked like he was stroking them casually, so that would be very frustrating on a stage like this when you you know nothing should be casual. But then again, there you go. That's the two sides of it, and he can produce the magic, and he did. So I'll give him nine out of ten. Desi eight, Stephen Bennett nine as well, just in case I hadn't said that. And then Jack Prendergast, mar- marked for a lot of the game by his college housemate Tommy Walsh, and, but a good performance, knocked over two points, and I think he he's he's our player who's grown into it now. I thought he was brilliant against Limerick. A bit quieter the last day. Then the subs that came in, Neil Montgomery came in the first half. I think you'd give him a 7 out of 10. Dara Lyons, goal scorer, give him 8. Irla Daly, 7. And Conor Gleeson, give him 7 as well. Thought he came on, did well, and got himself a nice point. So let me know if you agree, disagree. Um, certainly not everyone will. And maybe if I watch it a second time, I might change my opinion on some. But you have to stick on your, your neck on the line and uh, just uh, throw it out there and see what people think. If you're looking to order the perfect gift for the hurling enthusiast in your life, why not order a cool stick with our game? Get your orders into sticks at ourgame.ie. It's 30 euro per hurley decorated, plus delivery costs. There's a click and collect option available at a Dublin site, and you can get whatever you like put onto the hurleys. 